Welcome back, friends. My name is Bria Slaney. I am the founder of Essentially Fulfilled, and I'm back at you with the next oil in our A to Z series, covering all of doTERRA's essential oils, and today we are going to be chatting about cardamom. This is a great one, you guys. Um, you know, a lot of people struggle with the idea that not all essential oils are going to be safe for adults and children alike. Um, a little bit of research and just a little bit of someone helping to guide you on this journey of using essential oils safely will show you that actually most all essential oils are going to be safe for the little babies and the children. Um, you just have to know how to properly dilute, okay? So that's why talking about cardamom today is going to be exciting because this oil is going to be fantastic at supporting respiratory issues. So when your little one is congested or when you are as an adult, um, cardamom is going to be kind of the sister to peppermint. So peppermint is what we would typically think of to kind of help open our airways, help to support those respiratory issues and, um, you know, just help with any type of breathing or respiratory support. But cardamom is a little bit more of a gentler version of peppermint. So when you smell cardamom, it is closely related to ginger. So it's going to be, it smells slightly like a lesser version of ginger, if that makes sense. But again, it is going to be highly supportive at any type of, supporting any type of respiratory issue. So if you have any type of congestion or breathing issues, grab your cardamom and know that not only is it safe for you, but it is something that you can swap peppermint for, okay? Or breathe. If you are not one that is yet comfortable with um, using breathe or peppermint on your smaller child and you want something a little more gentle but yet still supportive, you're gonna wanna get cardamom into your arsenal, okay? So another amazing way that cardamom helps um, support your body is with any type of digestive issue. So whether that's just stomach upset or constipation, diarrhea, um, any type of digestive issue. Again, typically we would turn to something like Digestin, which we'll talk about later, but we have alternatives. We have options with our essential oils. And cardamom, again, is going to be one of those options that is just going to help support those digestive issues but also is a little bit more gentle than say Digestin because Digestin has peppermint in it. So again, if you are not one that yet feels comfortable or you don't have someone guiding you and helping you work through um, how to use your essential oils and how to properly dilute um, to make them safer and more comfortable for your children, this is going to be one that you're gonna to wanna to use for those digestive upset issues, okay? Um, cardamom also, because it is closely related to ginger, it is a cooking spice, so you can use this in any dish that you would use cardamom in. You can use a drop of your essential oil. With cooking, um, you definitely want to go less is more. Same when you're using essential oils topically for um, any type of issue. Less is always more, okay? So sometimes it's just wise to take a toothpick and just dip it into, there's a little hole right on this orifice and you can just dip that in, put it in your olive oil or whatever your dish is that you're cooking with and that is going to potentially be enough. And then if you want more in the dish that you're cooking, you can add a little bit more, but it's always uh, best to go lighter and then add if you need to. Um, so cardamom is also great at mental fatigue and any type of 
confusion. So when you wake up in the morning and you are needing a little bit of support, helping to wake yourself up, or um, you're just you know kind of drained and need a little bit of support, consider reaching for your cardamom. Grab it, take a couple drops, put it in your hand. Again, just inhale deeply and let those oils go to work for you. Um, okay, so those are the top uses of cardamom. Again, the main thing to remember here is that um, all essential oils are going to be safe for adults, right? Um, doTERRA specific. As long as you have someone guiding you and helping you learn how to use them properly, but if you are somebody who does struggle with the idea or you have not yet become comfortable with the idea of using things like peppermint or digestin on your smaller babies, cardamom is going to be that alternative for you, okay? So enjoy your day. I'm excited because next up in our series is going to be cassia. So I will chat with you guys later. Bye-bye.